back of the hive and there's some little ventilation up here. Look at that. Robber bees attracted to anything. Look at this hive over here at the back of it. Look at this. Back of the hive. Robber bees hoping to get in. But let's take a look at the front. See what's going on at the front. A little bit of fighting. See that? Caught a robber bee. Trying to fight it out. Look over here. Oh, got that one to fall off. So that's the stuff you're going to see that warrants robber screens. Let's take a look at the meanest hive on the property with robbing. Uh, here's, here's the back of the hive. Uh, so you see robbers or scout robbers are looking around. So let's see what's going on at the entrance. This is a very defensive colony. So if any robber bees are trying to get in the entrance, we would see fighting and the bees would grab them pretty quick. This is the one that we used in the mower video that attacked my weed eater. Oh! Yeah, I don't really see any fighting going on. So maybe the bees, uh, the robber bees are just trying to find a different way. They know they can't make it past these bees. Could be something like right along in here. Looks like there's some bees that are agitated about a bee up there, maybe. Oh, yep, they've got a bee they're trying to get out of there. Could be dead, a dead bee. Huh, yeah, that's crazy, Pat. Wow, this is something in the fall that I, I'm glad I can finally show you what it's all about because so many of you ask me, like, is this robbing or is it not robbing? But if you look at this hive here, there's some robbing going on. And robbing can come in two flavors. The first flavor is what I would call scout, scouting for robbing. And so, the way that I can tell some of the, this hive isn't really being robbed out, but if I walk around here and if you can see, you'll see some bees that occasionally are flying around the top of it up here. See the bees at the top, maybe. Might be hard to pick them up on the camera, but you'll see some bees flying around the backside too. So your bees that are busy going after goldenrod in the fall or something, your bees are going to go in and out of the front very strategically, in and out, in and out. There's no reason that your bees would be hanging out right here like this bee with no hair on it. <laughs> That's a robber bee when, when they don't have any hair because they've, they've been attacked by other bees and they have nibbled away their hair. See how shiny it is? That's a robber bee. And he's, she's tired, you know. But you can see the bees just flying around here. So these are more scout robbers. In other words, somebody told these bees here that there's honey nearby. And so they're trying to find it. So they're not really robbing this hive, but they might, but they're not right now because if you look at the entrance, there's no fighting. So what are they robbing? I gotta show you something, a mistake that I, I made. In other words, so two flavors of robbing, all out robbing, going in and out of the front, stripping uh, all the honey out of your hive or scout robbers trying to find out hey somebody gave a waggle dance i'm close is it this hive right here that's why you never want to leave a frame of honey near your hives or you never want to feed really close to your hive so pat if you can follow me in here so this door was left open and if you look over here from the other day we were filming, look at these bees in here. So we had some frames in here that, you know, they're not really drawn out, but there's some frames in here that obviously have something on them. So you see the, hear the bees in here? So I thought, 
Now I can leave these in here. There's not much on them. But there's just, looks like to me, one frame right here that has enough on it where the bees are excited about it. Now, so these, this is what these robbers are doing. They're actually, like here's one here that has been in here and now she's trying to get out. Oh, there she went. So they're, they're being told somewhere way out here in another hive somewhere that there could be honey over here. We smell it. And so now the bees are getting this close. And look here, even the back of the hive, you can see the bees at the back. So those are the robber scout bees that are trying to find where that honey is in this building. And all they have is a waggle dance to go by. And so they could be trying to get the honey by getting up underneath this um, top cover. So if you watch the entrance, you can see there is a, a bee right there in the middle of the pile there that all the other bees are kind of confining her. So that's a robber bee that's being pulled. Do you see they're fighting right there? The robber bee trying to get in there and they're just not gonna let her do it. She might try, but they're gonna eventually pull her out. So that's what you're gonna be wrestling with in the fall. So when you start, <laughs> they're stretching her. So when you start seeing robber bees uh, trying to make their way in, uh, you, you need to do something. And one of the ways that I recommend that you kind of offset this attack of robber bees is to use something like a robber screen. These robber screens are really handy because you can put them on the hive. They go right on the front entrance. They're made for eight frames or 10 frames and you can actually use the pins that it comes with to pin it onto the front of the hive. Now, this is not the best time of the day to put it on. You need to put it on, I think, late in the evening um, or maybe early in the morning before your bees start flying a lot because there's doors on this one that you open at the top of it. And when you open these doors, this will allow your bees to go in and out, but it won't let the robber bees uh, go through here because the robber bees are gonna be attracted to the odor of the hive. So if I put it on right here, Try not to smash any bees that are active. There we go. Uh, let's see, yep. Okay, so it will take a while for my bees to return home and to leave and finally figure out that they can use this top entrance right here. That's why I like doing it in the evening. You know, there's, there, there they are figuring it out already, but the ones coming back, it'd take them a minute to kind of get up there but the robber bees are always gonna be drawn to the odor down here. But these are nice little robber screens that you can tack on, you can pin them on to your hive, and they can also be used as a mouse guard too. And so this gives a little more defense against robbers. And a lot of people ask me, when should I put my robber screens on? So the question, you know, uh, how bad does it need to be before I put it on? Uh, when do I put it on? How long do I leave it on? You need to put it on before you need it. And that will prevent robbing from happening. And I would say in the fall, you need to leave it on way until probably your first hard freeze. I know that seems like a long time. And I'm talking about if there's nothing out there, there's not a good nectar flow, and there's robbing, a potential robbing going on, then it would be good for you to, to leave them on um, when there's a dearth, when there's not much out there and you're headed in for winter and bees are starting to rob other colonies. And then once, you know, like I said, once it gets kind of settled down, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, but take a look at the bees that are coming in here and look at the amount of pollen. These are all foragers that can't figure out how to get in just yet. So you can see some beige color pollen, some orange pollen, some of that's goldenrod pollen. So these bees are making a pollen run. It may not be heavy nectar, but it, it's certainly an abundance of pollen right now that the bees are getting this late in the year. 
So for fun today, Pat and I have some more uh, videos that we need to film, but for fun, we've put this on the hive about noon today, and that's not the best time to do it. But for fun, let's, uh, let's leave it on there, and we'll see when we come back, maybe in an hour or so, if these uh, foragers have found a way to go up there and get back into their hive. We're gonna circle back around and see if the foragers have worked out a way to get back into their hive through the robber screen. Before we do though, let me encourage you guys to please subscribe. It means the world to me. Click on the subscribe button below. Also give me a thumbs up for this video. Now let's check it out. Well, there are bees going in. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they just are the ones that have nectar. Uh, there's one on top with white pollen going the other way now right by the door on the corner. Right above it. Feeding, it's either being fed or feeding. It's gotta be being fed. Yeah, it went in. Please listen carefully. This time of the year, like late summer, into fall, when the dearth hits, when there's just not much nectar out there, man, you've gotta be extra careful not to leave any honey laying around. Uh, you know, it's easy for all of us as beekeepers to get a little absent-minded and might, might leave a super somewhere, might leave a frame of honey somewhere, might even use some ex uh, have some extracting equipment that we leave out maybe too close to our hives. So don't leave anything that might potentially cause your bees to be robbed out. Be very careful. Now, if you have a question you love to ask me about beekeeping, I've already answered that question. <laughs> Every Friday, I sit down in my green chair, raw and unedited, and I answer just literally a truckload of beekeeping questions every Friday. Check out these videos. Maybe these videos will answer what's on your mind. I'll see you guys over there.